What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I keep telling y'all, this is one of my favorite interviews that I have done thus far, and you'll see once again from this snippet from the interview I did with Spectacular Smith, why. In this snippet, he talks about college and the value of it and really the lack of value of it. So let me go ahead and get into that snippet, and we'll talk about it at the end. It's the network. To me, Colleges, at the end of the day, are just a, are a brand, and you really just going to flip the brand. Hopefully, you can flip that brand into some money, and it don't work. Exactly. Way. I think college is basically about networking. If you're not taking that approach and going to an Ivy League school, I feel like for networking, I feel like college is not. I think college is good to learn, right? But it's way better things out there right now on in the internet that can teach you way faster than college can and get you a, a, a result way fa faster than college can. If you literally go and you study the top 10 books in your niche, right? And you go take the top 10 programs in your niche, it'll yep. probably take you six months to do so. And you will already be making money within the seven month and have more experience and the ability to generate wealth with that and listening to podcasts and reading blogs and, and other than being in college all day and, and like every single, every single week you at college and you in all this debt. And, and then those programs that you buy is probably going to cost what two, two grand a piece, five grand, get some mastermind groups. You like by time, by the time you spend 50 grand max, probably like even 20 grand, Probably like 20 grand max and some books and some masterminds. Like you're literally 25 grand and you way more influential than a person that went to college for four years. 100%, man. 100%. That's a, like, I, if, I think if a lot more people like just hear that snippet of what you just said and actually take that route, it'll be surprising on like the impact that they can have. But absolutely. Cause listen, if you take, if like, if you took 150 grand, right? If that's how much you owe in college and you took that 150 grand and you joined, elite mastermind groups and you got into those mastermind groups for 25 grand, mm -hmm. 25 grand, you're around people who are making $10 million, $15 million. The shit they can teach you in those mastermind groups is unbelievable on the things that you can actually come together and not only network with these people, but now you have access to these people and now you're able to do things that the regular college person couldn't do with a four year degree. That's just how I see it. So if you're not going in thinking about networking and building a relationship with the people that's in those Ivy league schools, I don't really see, I don't really see that being the most effective way, the most effective way to use your time. It's the network. All right. So I love spectaculars insight when it comes to college. I mean, just the insight and the, the different perspective is something I think is going to be extremely useful for everybody. Again, that's one of my favorite interviews. You can find a Frank, the whole thing on brandmannetwork.com. But my perspective that I want to add to that conversation is how I use college. So when I went into college, man, I didn't even necessarily want to be there. Like I went with the mentality that I'm only here long enough to figure out what business I'm going to build. In the same way, J. Cole thought he was only going to be in college for like a couple of weeks until he got signed and then he thought he would be there for a year maybe then I get signed and then maybe two years and he'll get signed I was like that I'm like eh, eventually I'm gonna figure this business out next thing you know you know I'm graduating so I was so focused on building business that I was going outside far more than most college people to get resources outside of college right getting into the business industries and and just doing a lot of really dope stuff and getting a whole lot of dope connections but in the meantime i wasn't maximizing being in college in the first place it's like yes it's great that i built a lot of stuff outside that most people don't graduate with but if i'm gonna pay for college i need to maximize what i'm paying for and that came from networking I should have networked a lot more in college. I'm talking about not just with faculty and staff, professors and all that stuff, but the students who were there. Because if I look at the trajectory of where everybody went, there's a lot of people that I probably could have had better relationships with. Some I have some decent relationships with, but I could have had better relationships with just off the fact that we went to college together. But I didn't even I don't even I didn't even know certain people went to my school because 
I wasn't in certain environments long enough or just in the mix enough. So some of that's a personality thing. I understand that for people, but if you are in college, just know one of the primary things that you are paying for is the network. Utilize that network just like Spectacular said, but when it comes to that other perspective, I can say, yo, if I had to give somebody advice and you had the option, the opportunity to do that mastermind thing, right? Invest ten, twenty thousand dollars in some masterminds in a specific business area, I would say go that way as opposed to going to college. You could get the money to be able to pay for college if you go that way. You know, if you still want the experience from that standpoint, but just from a career business standpoint. That is a better way to go about things, especially when I know a lot of people are thinking about entrepreneurship or, you know, being in the music industry, artists and all that good stuff. It's not like you're trying to be a doctor, or lawyer, where it requires a specific way of going about things and specific degrees. Investing in these mastermind groups or education, whether it's books or whatever, is far more beneficial. So I say this once again, if you are in college or if you went to college, but you can't find a way to invest in these books or courses or things like that that are going to help you with your specific area that you want but you invested thousands of dollars some people hundreds of thousand dollars to go to college you're thinking completely backwards you're really investing all of your time and energy to do something that won't make you happy versus investing in something that actually will get you to where you want to go so that's something to think about man because it's really hard to see people invest outside of the traditional education system but that's largely i understand because that education system has been sold to you and it's a secure thing since most people were born right so i understand it but once again if you want to check out that full interview with spectacular smith you can check it out at brandmannetwork.com and if you like this video go ahead and like button if you like it might as well share and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button